Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in defense sector. Today we are going to discuss about one of the major decisions taken in the recent meeting of DAC or Defense Acquisition Council related to active protection measures for 3000 Indian tanks and other armored vehicles. In the recent meeting, the DAC has taken major decision to strengthen Indian armed forces and push Make in India strategy. You can think of this active protection measure as a shield neutralizing any anti-tank missile entering in its area. We will discuss about this in detail, how it's going to be a force multiplier for our armed units and tanks. But before that, let's understand what are all the challenges being faced by tanks in the modern warfare. In the era of modern warfare, many countries have acquired anti-tank weapons such as anti-tank guided missiles which can defeat any main battle tank's frontal armor. DRDO has also built similar missiles named NAG and Helena. To counter these threats, vehicles need an active protection measures that will ensure the survivability of the crew and the vehicle as well as the capability to detect low signature shooters and engage them in seconds. While DRDO is still working on developing indigenously active production measures, however, it will still take two to three years for its developmental trial. Meanwhile, India is eyeing Rafale's Trophy Active Production Measures APS. There are not many APS offered at present, and Rafale's Trophy is the best one among all. Now, talking about Rafale's Trophy, it is already a battle proven platform and has reshaped the global battlefields enabling an unprecedented level of survivability. It is already in use for Merkava 3 and 4 MBTs and Neymar APCs and was also selected by US Army for Abrams MBT family. With over 500,000 operational hours, it is the only APS that has saved lives. Now let's understand how this works. Trophy creates a neutralization bubble or you can say shield around the vehicle. Trophy is very quick in detecting, classifying and engaging all known chemical energy threats including recoilless rifles, ATGMs, AT rockets, heat tank, heat tank rounds and RPGs. It is not only capable of neutralizing the enemy's anti-tank team but can locate the fire source and enable the crew to return fire effectively. Trophy's 8x8 vehicle protection system is the most mature APS for 8x8s in the field. Trophy can also be combined with Samsung 30 and equipped with Spike LR2 ATGMs maximizing the capabilities of the fighting vehicle and the crew. DAC has already cleared a proposal to upgrade the protection level of over 3000 armored vehicles including main battle tanks and infantry combat vehicles. The plan is to increase the operational efficiency by adding counter missile systems and early warning systems to the fleet. The Defense Minister has cleared the indigenous weapon program worth Rs 13,700 crore including acquisition of modernized version of Arjun main battle tank and increased protection levels for over 3,000 armored fighting vehicles currently in service. It is speculated that Indian Army is planned to equip 13th to 14th armored regiments with active protection system with hard kill capability. As we have seen in the past, procurement process for armed forces was very sluggish and even took 7 years to complete some time. However, as per the recent decision of DAC, all capital acquisition contracts other than design and development projects must be completed in 2 years. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.